Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. That decision handed down this morning has been met with reaction from both sides. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is live at Sugar House Casino to break down what it means, Joe. Hi, Jessica and Yuki. Nevada had monopolized this market for decades. Now Pennsylvania, New Jersey and Delaware went in on a piece of the pie. As one state lawmaker put it, you can now and any at a couple months from now, perhaps at the time is all over the table, head into the casino and he says, leave your bookie at the door. It's an illegal industry in the shadows and worth billions. The black market for sports betting was enormous in this country, and I, I don't think that was really disputed by anyone. Sports wagering, and by a 7-2 margin, the Supreme Court on Monday punted the decision on legalizing it back to the states. Sports books here be great now. Expect betting on the Eagles, Phillies, Flyers, and Sixers to be just around the corner. It's a great thing that it's happening, and um, it's good for the town. Laying down some cash at brick and mortar casinos or from your phone, according to lawmakers and experts we spoke with. Using your mobile device during a, a, a game to be able to place bets, I think uh, all that technology will be coming. Pennsylvania proactively passed legislation last year on how to introduce sports betting. The Gaming Control Board will develop regulations. New Jersey has some housekeeping to do before you can make a wager. And Delaware, the first state, already allows sports betting in some locations. The catch, which state carves out a competitive edge over the others. When you look at bringing that money into Atlantic City or bringing that money into Pennsylvania casinos or Delaware, uh, you really have the opportunity to, to grow this industry. And Chris Soriano there pointed out that New Jersey may see sports betting and wagering with the inside of three months. Pennsylvania about the same prediction just as soon as the state's gaming control board gets his act together on this with regulations. Reporting live tonight outside Sugar House Casino, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.